Is it? What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. Your watch is broken. My daughter, I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Hooray. Advance VX mount number 91519. Box is in good condition. Product number 32054. Box is in good condition. Let's see. AC adapter for CGM DX. Gives it enough power for the motors in for this mount, so more than enough. It shouldn't hurt the circuitry. And we got a serious pouch carrying case. And it came with no foam, so I'm gonna have to cut it and trim out a foam for the head. Okay, let's unbox. Okay, opening up the uh, six inch Newtonian tube. Very clean. Okay, 20 millimeter piece. Polar finder scope and bracket in this box. OTA looks solid. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Well, it doesn't come with a two inch crafer, but that's okay. Yeah, this is six inches. Legs, cushions look good. Got the tri light support, and these legs look pretty beefy. Now, what the hell could have happened to this box? What did it do? Hit a train? Someone slammed on the brakes? Oh, it's the counterweight. That's probably the reason why. Yes. It's the counterweights. That's the reason why those box look like pancakes. Okay, power cord. Um, side hand con. I guess hand control mount support. But where's the hand control? Got the cable. Got the power cord. Got the stand supports. Okay, one more box open, and it's gonna be this one. Ah, voila. Okay, hand controller. Here comes the head. All right. Advanced VX mount. Got the hand controller, aux one and two, auto guider port. See that? And guess what? Oh my God. The, what's it called? The counterweight bar is here. Yeah, that's pretty thin. But, hey, it's a counterweight bar. It works. 
And what's these? Uh, these are the RA adjustments. Uh, actually, not RA. Uh, uh, azimuth. Azimuth control mounts. Yeah, so everything's here on the head side on the AVX mount. And. Uh, okay, since I got no foam with my pouch, I can use the existing foam from this box and use it on this series foam couch pouch yeah looking really nice again try doing this with one hand um kind of my bar just to be sure <laughs> i got the uh locking toe foot here protector yes that is a very nice fit that is such a good idea. Well, welcome to another unboxing porn of for an AVX six inch Newtonian. The reason why I got this is because it's quick, easy to set up and go than my CGM DX. Um, not only that, I'm just going to be doing astrophotography on it. And so the equipment items on there, it's not going to be... I won't require very heavy um, extra accessories on it. Uh, that's why I have a CGM DX. But for right now, this is just just perfect for um, for my H8 8 SE Schmidt Cassegrain and my Omni XLT 150. And this here too is an Omni XL 150. Yeah, but the one that with it. The OTA that came on the Omni XLT 150 has a two inch with a quarter inch adapter for eyepiece fittings. This one right here looks very small standard for eyepiece, for, eye, for astro viewing. The Omni XLT does have that feature, that allows you to take advantage of the two inch. Not this one, but this, hey, an extra OTA, why not? Next, what we have to do is assemble this, and um, after I set it up, I'll flash it to the latest firmware with Celestron Firmware Manager. Sweet. My handset control comes with the mini USB port. I don't have to deal with that RJ11. Thank God. The knobs on the EVX feel very snug and they really lock pretty good. Um, I'm not interested in doing any hyper tuning stuff. I do believe there should be resistance when this thing should be in motion. So it puts loads on the gears from uh, not having any slosh or backlash. But uh, yeah, I'm not into that hyper tuning stuff. Actually, whoever reads instructions, I think this guy is just, just plug stuff in, because I guess we know, we know. All right, hand controller port and deck port motor. Okay, got that plugged in. Got the CGM Pro power, 12 volt, 5 amp. And let it smoke. No, I'm just joking. Verifying his packages. English. Uh, hold on back. I don't want that. Zero for English. Enter to accept. Advanced UX. Enter. Okay, move mount to its index points just like on my CGMDX. Unlock that. And that's there. 
and that's close enough. All right, lock it. And it's locked. And that's locked. Yep. Enter. Custom science. Uh, Wow, has the last alignment. Cool. NGC three zero three one. Okay, let's see what it's doing. Uh oh. Don't. Don't hit. Don't hit. Yeah. Okay. It didn't hit. Whew. Let's go to solar system. Venus should be in the far east right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, kidding me, that's where Venus is. I didn't do any polar alignment, so this is just a quick setup test. Let's go to Mars. Bedroom testing. Hooray. This is not going to be used for astro viewing, so I have this pointed down. Um, it's going to be basically facing south most of the time. So my camera will be on the left side of this, facing south. Okay, that's Mars. It's close enough. Thanks for watching. Ah! Ah! Oh no. Sarah. Move your hands, babe. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Babe. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. No. No. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, God. Please. Please. Please don't do this. Please. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. I mean, look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey, sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. I saw the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go.